Hello there everyone and how are you guys today? Well, we would just like to remind you to to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already now. Hello my sunflowers, how are you? Well, um, I hope everything with you is great and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope, you know, as we approach hump day, yes. I hope just know that you're almost over. And with that being said, someone asked me a question, and that is, what was it, baby from? Yes. How will America be affected by the war? That's a really, really hard question to answer, but I'm going to go to the, tr the trustees here, and I'm going to see what they have to say about that. What do America have to say? What does the card say about America? Well, as I'm going to tell you what I do know. And you tell me if I'm like, I think that we have troops over there already. We have been supporting Israel. There are troops over in America, I mean, over there in Israel. So far as I'm concerned, we are already in the war. We are just not active. We're in it, and we, and as long as you're helping out, you're in it. We just haven't put our dukes up yet. That's all. And, um, and you can understand that they have people over there ready to come in too. So I would hope that we don't have a world war. I really don't. I really don't. And I just don't even understand why grown folks, grown, you're always teaching your children not to fight. Why can't grown folks just pull this together? And why can't we just make a peace treaty and get along? Mm -hmm. These are grown people fighting. Yes, it's Grown true. people. Grown. That runs the world are out there fighting like cats and dogs with weapons that can destroy us all. And it's like, and we got a vote. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. That's a moment. That was a moment. I'm sorry. So anyway, let's say, let's say the America, baby Quan, when I do this, you're gonna have to do your cut. Okay. Uh, yes, there is approximately 100 U.S. troops are deploying to Israel. 100? Now. Yes, approximately 100. See what I mean? And that was just on the 13th of October. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but it's 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 100 troops. That's somebody's son. Mm -hmm. And somebody's daughter over there putting their lives at stake for war. Yes. It's ridiculous. In the meantime, our prices here in America are ridiculous. Yes. I went and bought a small bag of Skittles. A small bag of Skittles and a bag of vinegar potato chips. Like a regular bread. It was $5. I sure to think what that stuff cost in other countries. The inflation in this country is outrageous. Would you agree? Yes, I would agree. And there are people that are do anything to come here. Yes. And when you get here, many of you, all you find is disappointment. Mm -hmm. I mean, if America have a hard time taking care of its own. That's true. And then you and then you coming from other parts of the world and America is taking care of you, it put stress on the American people. And you know, my heart goes out that in other countries you're suffering. Yes. But believe me, for your average people in America, we're suffering over here too. With, with the inflation, mm -hmm. the cost of food, yes. the cost of medicine, the cost of gas and elect the electric. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's nothing for to pay six or seven hundred dollars for electric, and that's not even including, even if you live in an apartment, it's not going to pay two to three hundred dollars in electric. Mm -mm -mm. Unless you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These is outrageous. And the phone, the phones and the yes. cables and the and the your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And then you have TV, but unless you get a stick or one of those things you can connect to your TV. Everybody's gone rogue, so you gotta pay special for this. You gotta pay special for that. Nine dollars for this, and ten dollars for that, and fourteen. It's ridiculous. Yeah, for all that, you might as well get cable. <laughs> yeah, would you agree? Yes. So it's expensive over here. It is expensive, and if America want to do anything, lower 
lower the, the prices and it's taxed on everything. Yes. Well, anyway, that's what I have to say about America. But it's my country and I love her. It's my country and, you know, I'm too old to leave. If only voting season actually could make a change. Oh, you've got shut these already. Sorry, babe. Um, just do a simple question. Uh, okay. That's all right. We had to fix up the energy. Okay, cut this too. Shut shuffle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the card that's going to stand for America. Now, what was her question again? How will America no, be? No, give my question. Thank you. No, thank you. You've been hard. Nope. No, thank you. Uh -uh, I saw that. No, 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 no. My cards are prime. I don't want cards curled up like that. No. Okay. See how these are? Because I don't bend them like that. But anyway, they have a I shop for them. So anyway, this is America. I see America, and what I see right now, I see the the cup, uh, the knight of cup. And in this case, it's like the police officer is over there in that other country. Oh, America is like trying to be the peace. As you can see, you probably can't see it. It's just trying to be the baby cone. If yes. I pull out a car and I pull it, can you just see if you can get it through beams and then they can probably see it big. And this okay. is the cup. So, you know, just put them in front of you, lay them down. And, and, and that way you can just pass it to them. Just, you'll be better to just do them like that. Because that way, that way you can see a lot of them. So, and um, and anyway, like I said, so we got this cup, and um, if you can't, that's fine. Uh, You'll okay. never find it doing it like that. So, okay, let me stay focused here. Now, what I say here is, I just see Marcus trying to come off as the peace treaty, the um, the one that's uh, coming and saying we're coming and we bring you peace. This is what I see. And I really do see that America have a love for Israel. America government truly have a love for Israel and really is helping Israel out. Um, also, again, I see in America's heart, it's twixt in between because I've seen temperance. This is the cup temperance. And I yes, see that's not temperance. I know, I babe, this is temperance. I know you're not even looking. Here's temperance. I got you. But this is temperance, and um, and temperance is up, and we have the, the, the cup. So we see America, when I think of temperance, I think of balance. And I think of America is trying to go over there. And, and, and of course, I truly believe that in an overall sense, because I have to believe that, because this is my country. And I truly believe that America is, in her way, about peace in the Middle East. Yes. Right. So I have to believe that. But I definitely see the equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And I see that. And I and let me get another card so I could really tell you. Mm. Right on top. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So now I see the four cups. So I see cups, cups. And cups. Cups here and cups is emotion. Cups is water. Mm -hmm. Right? And and I also see Sagittarius at play. So I definitely see the humanitarianism and all of it. And and all of this. And America is coming off like I want peace. I don't want war. I don't and I think we involve <sighs> Dealing with this war is so stressful, you know, but I'm going to still try to read on it because it's stressful, because it's hard for me to read when I am, when I, when I'm, when I'm not happy with what's going on. Oh, okay. It's hard to read and not allow my own personal feelings. So what you're going to get out of this, you're going to get my own opinion mixed with this because I just don't see no other way how I can separate it, mm -hmm. right? Um, above, America's in a still place. So even though it's over there, it's still. It's helping with things and it's there and being there is speaking up, is speaking volumes. We're there, but we still. We're there just in case. We're there, but we're not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. We're there. We're there in the thickets of it, but we're, we're, we're here just in case. And I don't know what a hundred soldiers will do. Yeah, that's true. But they're there. 
-hmm. You know, and sometimes mm -hmm. when Amari could do something, they come off and do it in intervals, very small intervals. Yes. Don't be surprised next month they send another hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but but will we be affected by this? At the end of the day, I see the fool. I do. I just see the fool. I think Marika's just in it. We're in it for whatever reasons that government get into things. And in my opinion, I don't think they tell us everything. I really don't. I yeah. think they tell us what they want us to know. Yes. And they want to know, are we struggling? We're struggling, yes. Whenever Marika's at war, we struggle. Why? Because you got to pay for the, the, the weapons, you got to pay for the man, you got to pay for all of it. So, yes, it's, it's, what do you think, baby Chrome? Yes, most definitely. You but, know, huh? I was going to say, it does, at least by the trends of history, it does always seem to get better for the economy after war, which is ironic. Well, I hope so. I don't know. I don't know how bad this is going to be. I don't know how bad it's going to get. I I don't know how bad it's going to get. Ask me a question because I can go better like that. Do you think this war with America is going, are we going to go to war with America? Are we going to get involved? In, we're already involved. Are we going to start putting up our dukes and starting the fight in this war? Okay. A yes or no, a do me fine. I'm a, every time I ask a question, I'm a chef. Okay. I'll shuffle. I'll make sure I get the cards mixed. Mix them up. Now, that's it. First card. Do I think that America is going to go to war? Yes, I do. I do think that, well, I don't know because when I see the, the knight of horses, horses, the knights are like horses or like police officers. They're there to protect, to serve, and to help in any way. For the king mm -hmm. and message and also some messages so what i see i see the red horse and when i see the red horse you know that red horse baby call pick up on your phone and see what the red horse mean in the apocalypse the okay. red horse in your phone real fast let me see the red horse because i know the apocalypse had four horses i'm just doing this but the red horse and the red horse and apocalypse means what because I see the white horse that's coming, we're coming and we're bringing peace. And we're saying, we're gonna to try to help you. You need our help, we're gonna to try to help you. You know, um, what does the red horse mean in the apocalypse? Yes. The I mean, it's about coming in and fighting and war, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the second horse and it is ridden by a figure granted power to take peace from earth so that people would slay one another. Well, we not going yes. to that. The color red traditionally symbolizes strife, and okay. the rider often holds a large sword. All right, I got you. Oh, okay. Um, and like I said, yes. Yeah, so this real horse, I said that I was going. Whether they fight or not, but they are probably getting in fight mode. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's so unfortunate because we don't know the conversation. There are so many things that we do not know. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that the government doesn't tell us. And and speaking of this, one of the things that I don't like every four years, America teaches his people how to hate. What do you mean? Every time it's time to vote, we hate one another. Yes. Why does it always have to be hatred? Mm -hmm. Why is it that when election time comes, you got, you know, you got young people, 20, maybe their first time voting or their second or third, you need to vote. You need to mind your business. You understand what I'm saying? This is personal. When did it get to the point where, I mean, it's so ridiculous. And we want to know why so much crime and stuff in this country because America teaches people how when it comes time, we, we tear each other's eyes out. Yes, we we rip each other. Mm -hmm. We say horrible things. We get the people in flux and the people are fighting. 
Yeah. This is not what voting is supposed to be. No. You got people saying, I don't want to say who I vote for because you can, this is ridiculous because this is what the government does. Every four years, it turns each other, it turns us against each other. And then we have a civil war and our a mental civil war in our country because voting becomes so hateful. Yes. It's hateful. Mm -hmm. And then you got everybody telling you should vote. Mind your business. Yes. Yeah, young people. Young people vote. What if you don't agree with anyone? Mm, yeah. You're like, vote anyway. No. What do you stand and say? I mm -hmm. don't agree with either. Mm -hmm. But you can't have that because you got your Democrats to say, Democrat is the way. Uh, then you got your Republican. The Republican is the way. Uh, so uh, that's the only two parties? Come on. I can't. I can't. So what is the state of America? Strength. Yes. Because that's what it teaches us. Mm -hmm. Be mad. Yes. Fight. So when somebody stormed the Capitol, why? You got people thinking, well, if somebody does take the chance, is someone going to, is the president going to get assassinated? Uh -huh. This is how bad it is in this country. Because they make voting hateful. Yes. Hate. You got your people hating. Yes. Hating. I have no parts of that. Mm -hmm. I don't want hating me. If you don't vote for me, you're a loser. You don't vote for me, you wacky wack. This is ridiculous. You got men of God, women of God, out there all in this foolery. Mm -hmm. Telling you, your vote matters, really? Yeah, for the egotistical ones, for your party is what you're voting for. Yes. Because they're going to be the one who vote for your president, and 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 that's up to that group. Mm -hmm. So miss me with it. It's so angry. I just hate this time because for the next for the last six months, all we do is hate. Yes, and it hate, just gets hate. progressively. Worse. It gets progressively worse. You can't hear anything because of the hate. Mm -hmm. and, and and a lot of times, a lot of Americans don't even understand politics. They don't. They don't understand it. They just go by what you say, and I'm a Democrat, my mama was a Democrat, and my papa was a Democrat, and all of us are Democrats, and I'm a Democrat, and I'm a, I'm a Republican, I was a Republican, my family are Republican, and I'm for Republican, and we just get into this quagmire of this. This is horrible. Yeah. And I blame our government for it. Every four years. Well, we're ironically wearing red and blue almost. <laughs> well... Well, it was patriot. I'm as patriotic as I can be right now. But my point is, yes, put in that white. There we go. So I'm as as patriotic as I can do be, and I love America, but I don't like what it does every four years, and we hate on each other. And another thing I don't like, I don't like it when you got big people coming out, and but I don't want to know who who Taylor Swift vote for. Right. I don't want to know who that. That's personal. Yes. It was a personal thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want to see uh what you call it twerking or Al Rogan and I don't want I, it's personal. Yeah. I, I don't want to no see sleep that. Over that. Huh? I said I lost no sleep over what Yeah, and you hoping that oh, well if Beyonce vote, then her this is ridiculous. Yes. People, do you see how ridiculous this is? Please. And is it me? No. It's so hateful. And yeah. then you want to know why it's so much crime in this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like, look at our government. Mm -hmm. And this video won't get much views. But for you, yes, I read for you. So you want to know, I do, I think America is going to be in a place of retreat. Watching waiting i see america waiting watching observing i see money finances 
I see that in America. I see finances. About this finance court, let me see something on it. Yeah, we fighting over bills and money in this country. Yes. It's a lot of fighting here. So we are being affected by it because there's a lot of strife in this country over bills, oh, not bills, the, our government, over financial things. We are we are struggling over here. Mm -hmm. We are. We are struggling in this country. So how is it going to be? It's a struggle. And whenever we have war, war costs money. It costs billions to fight. You got to pay troops. You got troops. You got to pay for transportation. You got to pay transportation. You got to pay for the wars. You got to pay for weapons. Mm -hmm. You got to pay for the weapons to be made. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wars cost a very expensive. So, and whenever there's a war, we're going to struggle because it's going to rob Peter to pay Paul. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of that, how are So, I financial, in this country, it's showing me right now that this country is going to go to some kind of, it looks like we're going to go through some financial, something financially is going to happen to this country. Like financial, let me, let me get it. Oh, I said I, I would. I would shuffle. Let me shuffle again. Um, I, I see some kind of financial woe, something that deals with financials that we're going to struggle with. Let me get a little clear. I think it's uh, financial. I definitely see financial. I see that we're going over there in peace to the Middle East in peace. I do see that, but in this country. I see that the government is sitting still, mm -hmm. and I see because it's, it's it's attention is in the war. But I definitely see this country as sitting still. But I definitely see there's so much strife in this country, and the strife over finances, over jobs, over things like that. Yes. So this country is struggling, and that's what I see. And I see that America's money is tied up in other things. So it's people's struggle. Mm -hmm. So it is a struggle in this country. For many, not all, but for, for a many. lot of people, they are suffering. Mm -hmm. Financially, if I had to tell you, I'm going to tell you what I see. Take everything I say as a granted. I see that America's headed for financial collapse or some kind of financial ruin. Look at all these aces. The strike. Hold up some for me. Here, you can hold them up. You got the bigger card. Hold them up, baby. Come okay. On. The ace. Mm -hmm. You see it? That's yeah. the ace. I was I trying got to find the tower. Oh, I think, no, that's not the tower. This is what I see. You see the fighting? Mm -hmm. You see all these pentacles? That lets me know it has to deal with monetary. Game. Okay. Monetary. In this case, we got the we got the ace of wands. We got the fiction of the wands. We have here we have uh, the hoarder or 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 the hoarder or someone is saving money to mm -hmm. for, looking out for themselves. Very selfish, not yes. looking out for the people, but looking out for the the war. It's not about us at this mm -hmm. point, unfortunately. No. It's just in my opinion. This is my opinion. This is this war is not about us. It could be indirectly, but I see here because of all the pentacles, I see that we're here for some, we're, brace yourself because the cause is saying something is coming okay. and we're going to be affected by it. Mm -hmm. So either it's going to be a year from now, but we are going to be affected. Okay. We're going to be affected by something. The tower showed up. The power showed up. We're going to be affected. Let's see. What else? The emperors show up. So in time of all of this, in times of, of all of this, I think the emperors come in mm -hmm. as, let me, I want to read what this says. I want to read what she says in this thing. Abundance. Maturing. Mm -mm. Feminine, good energy. This is not it. So let me see. No, it's just no, it just doesn't fit because each card has a I just wanted to see. Yeah, I do see it. I definitely see America being very selfish because it's you know, you want to vote who we vote and everything like that. Do they ever say, hey, we want to get a vote? How many people want us to go and fight a war? 
Nope, they never. They never that. asked that. No. You know, so whoever you vote for is for the war. So right now, I see Mother Nature. I see the Empress. So where do I see her? She's supposed to be in abundance, but I see that she can't give an abundance. She's unable to give birth right now. With so much going on, so much sure. strife, so much about abortions. Um, we're not supposed to say that word, but I don't know of a word to get it. It's just this is like stuff like that is yeah, stupid. Heavy. It's stupid. We can't have bees. And, and come on, that's just dumb. But this is what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And all at the same time, you put a gag order where we can't say stuff. Yes. Because you're so afraid, or the government is so afraid that if we say something, we might start a mutiny. Yes. And these things are crazy. So we're losing our voice. We're losing the voice to speak. Mm -hmm. How? Because there's only certain words you can use. Yes. So we're losing that. When this is supposed to be a free country of speech, yeah. well, we know we, we know that's not true, right? No. Mm -mm, no. So I see that the, the freedom of the um, freedom of mother is being deplenished. Deplenished. It's the word diminished. Depleted. Diminished. Oh. It's being diminished or depleted. I see that because mother herself is losing her voice. You have a question? Yes, my question is: Does America want to go to war? Here's another um, child. I think if Monica didn't want to go to war, she wouldn't go to war. Fair enough, fair enough. She's a war power. Yeah. She wouldn't be there if she didn't have no stake in it. She wouldn't invest in Israel if there was no investment to be made. That's true, that's true. So if we have that war, she's there because she wants to be. Mm-hmm. The government want to be, for whatever reason. And as far as the people of America, we have no say over these things. Mm -hmm. But yet they make a big thing about voting. Yes. But do they say, hey, we're going to say a vote. Do we, should we get involved in the war? You let both parties defend why we should mm -hmm. and why we shouldn't. And we should have a vote on these things. Yes. None of these major things are even even considered. Right. They are considered when you vote, you have to know who you're going to vote for. Who is going to be the warmonger? Yes. Who is going to be the liberator? Who's going to be the one that gets us this and get us that? These are the things you have to look out for. Because each party, they both are good in their own right. It's yes. just what you want. And when they're in office, they only in there for four years. Yeah, not enough to make too much of a change. Not too much to do anything. The first year is an adjustment. Mm -hmm. The second year, you, you know what you want. The third year, you're trying to get one or two things through. Yep. And the third year, you're about to get out again. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is what we up to. So um, will America be great again? Let me shuffle my card. Like the is that, that what they say? Make yes. America great? Mm -hmm. Will America be great? When I think of this two of wands, read that what that say, baby Cone, because I'm reading for somebody and I, I want to hear what the cards have to say. Planning, pros, progress, making decisions, discovery, leaving home, travel plans. Well, that's what America's doing, isn't it? Yes, that is what America's doing. Isn't America doing. left home? Mm -hmm. She's got travel plans. She's over there in Israel. And um, yep, like you said, all about togetherness, a settling of energy, union, love, and balance. Did you read the negative? Um, the yeah, negative. I read both. I read both. Got gotcha. like that. I can just read the positive because right. the cards are dual. So. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it did say duality on this card and the all dual of them nature of it. Is. All of them. Go ahead. Um, personal goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see it's yes. fitting. Inner mm -hmm. alignment, fear of unknown, fear of change. That's what we at. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. Playing it safe and lack of plan. And so when this guy, when this, when this, when this came out, which is the cup of page, the, I mean the cup of page, yeah, the page of cups, it lets me know that it is. What was the card saying? It, what was the last thing you said? That wow. That um, fear of the unknown or fear of change. Fear of change and fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. And here we, we're going over and personal them goals. and personal goals. So these are the things that the government understands. They don't share these things with us. We have no say in that. No. You know, so 
You know, will we will we suffer? Something's coming. Am I right about it? Is something coming? Is something coming? Yeah. We see the emperor. Mm -hmm. We see the emperor. Something strong. Yeah. Something strong. Something is coming. Something strong. Dictatorship. Yeah. Um. Uh. I see dictatorship. Um. Um. Rule or somebody ruling with a a a arm fist, changing things. I do see that. That's what the cards are saying. Clarification on that emperor. Because we see his wife that was very upset, and now we see the emperor. So we see a male and a female here. Yes. So we see power. And we know right now there is a male, a strong male, and a strong female that is out to battle. So which one will win? Okay. I already told you who I think, but let's try it. I see, I see the page. Ladies first, and the male. I see a page and a heart. So I don't know which one, but I can tell you what I see in this. In this, no matter which way this goes, this is going to be a heartbreaker. Okay. No matter which way it go, and whoever gets in the chair, whoever, it's like it's going to be somebody fiery. It's going to be somebody that is young. Got a young way of looking at things and very fiery. You understand? Mm -hmm. Read that. Uh, inspiration, ideas. I want you to read the negatives. Don't even um, bother to read the positive because it's okay. not that kind of a reading. Lack of direction. See, that's, see, that's it. When you read, you could see that okay. you got to fit it with the call. Right. right. Procrastination, creating conflict self-limiting beliefs spiritual path in newly okay, formed that's idea enough. just read the main things and read that that negative self-talk releasing pain optimism mm -hmm. and recovery slash moving on see so that real hard in this case is not bad mm -hmm. it just lets you know that it's strife one, when I read for Camilla, Kamala, it says to her, she is the page, but yet she's like a child or somebody inexperienced in this. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's what the cards are saying. And then for the emperor, it's saying that for Trump, it's saying that he could be very hard. What else did the cards say? Yes, about the emperor? Yes. Oh. You just read it, babe. Yes, I know. I just write it. I just want to be accurate. Um, it's negative talk. He fits negative talk. It talks about negative talk. It says releasing pain, releasing and forgiveness and optimism, recovery. This is what he's about. And also, it's like upright. It's heartbreak. In other words, I'm telling you, this country is going through a lot. One of them is just not responsible. Not that's a long word. I didn't mean that. One of them is young at the game and 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 never been a president. Was thrown in there at the last minute. Yeah. Have a problem. People half lover, half don't, and a problem. Then you got another man, and you got to look at it this way in America. When you, when they voting, like this is what we got to choose from. Yeah. Someone who's thrown in there and someone who has uh, have a record. Yeah. They're trying to get it a sponge, but who has a record and someone that is also um, loose yes. with their mouth and say what they have to say. So you got two, a yin and a yang, and you have to choose between. You don't have to choose, but if you listen to everybody else, you have to choose. Mm -hmm. And this is what they tell you every year. That's what you got to choose from. Yeah. What are we as a people going to say? I don't want that. Mm -hmm. That's always an option. I, I only got to choose. You're going to have the Democrat this year or the Republican. That, that's 
your choice. But what if you don't agree with anyone? There is no option. And to me, that's unfair. Yes. There should be options, but everybody don't look at that. They only like sheep. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, and I'm saying there are those that are, you know, Democrats and Republican and understand exactly why they're doing it. But I'm saying, but there are many who just do it because I'm I'm Republican. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm voting because Beyonce saying. I'm both I'm voting because Al Rogan said this is this is where we at. Yeah. I'm voting because because uh, Taylor Swift saying this is crazy. It is crazy. Where is your mind? Mm -hmm. But every four years they go up here, and I don't think they play. I don't think it's a fair game. It's not. I think that is cheating. I think they put the country in flux. I think that I don't want to hear what a movie star or a famous person have to endorse. It should be private. I don't think they should be made to be endorsements like that unless they want to. Mm -hmm. But you got the guarantee. Beyonce had to do it. And this shouldn't be made. That should be private. I, we, America, your vote is supposed to be private. Yes. But this is what the government do. They so about winning. Yes. Then it's not about you and it's not about me. It's about ego. So whoever gets the chair, are they going to do a good job? Yes. That's the question. New beginning. Fiery, but it'll be a new beginning, new ideas, new creation, new things. Uh -huh. I got to get another one. I see a celebration. So whoever gets the chair, whoever wins, I think it's going to maybe a little positive in there. Okay. It may be slow, but I do see new beginnings and somebody changing things and doing things new way. However, they're going to have to because America is about to face something. I don't know when and I don't know how, mm -hmm. but America is about to face something. We're moving. Yeah. We're moving towards something. I see these cups keep showing up, showing up, showing up, showing up. I don't know. This card's got so many cups and pentacles. So this lets me know. What is it? I was counting how many aces you had. It looks like it's only. It's only one two. ace. Two aces. One ace. Yeah, two aces. The ace of cups, which is finances. Oh, no, and there's three. Where? Ace of cups in your hands. Oh, the Ace right. of Pentacles. Right. This is the only and then two. the Ace of Wands. Oh, right, right, right. That just came out. Right, right. So, yeah, so we got the three Aces. So we see new beginnings coming, but but I see it as emotional. I see it as financial. I see that we get ready to go through something financial. I definitely see that in the cards. Some kind of financial collapse, something. I see it. I ain't going to bite my tongue on that. Okay. I'm going to stand on that. I see a financial some when the when the, what does that say? What it, what is that? What does that it's call it say? Uh huh. Collapse. It's a collapse. Read it. It's some kind of collapse. Some kind of a tearing down, being struck to be rebuilt again, mm -hmm. to be rebuilt. The question is, will America be great again? Yes. Yes, but the old system has to come down so the new system can come up again. Mm -hmm. What the card said. Personal transformation, fear of change. Of course, learning. America's afraid of change. People, the people in America are yes. afraid of change. The government, it changes every time you get a new president. Mm -hmm. Collapse and restlessness. We see it. Mm -hmm, we do. So I see that coming. So, um, so whatever's coming and facing America, is it going to be bad? Is it going? Good question. I did it again because we see here, this is the swords. That means rushing in. This is a negative. This is not a good card. This is a card that says that this is somebody moving and moving without, they just leaping and doing things without thinking, without, without uh, uh, grounding. You're just mm -hmm. acting before you think. Read what that says. And then I see here the swords as if this is a negative, as if somebody think they're getting away with something. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the cause. Read it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. 
restlessness, unfocused. I don't know how many cards that said restlessness. So that lets me know that the people right. in America is becoming restless. Go ahead. Oh, what was the word you used? Instead of you didn't call it restless. I'm using all these cards. I guess you are. Um, I'm trying to think of what the un unrest. Unrest. Mm -hmm. You see it in the people. Yeah. It's an unrest. Mm -hmm. It's financial stress. America leadership is stressing its people. It's stressing. And the yes. only people that are not really feeling it is the people that are wealthy or the people that are rich or the people that live comfortable lives. Yeah. For, but America is not filled with that. Yeah. America is filled with the average person. You know? Yeah. The average. And they are feeling stress. What do you think? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I can agree to that. And like you said earlier, war just brings more stress both financially, mentally, and emotionally to the people here in America on top of voting seasons. That's just another thing that America just has. And the price of over. living and the price of electricity, the price of food, the price of gas, the price of medicine, the price of Insurance that you have to have. Yes. It is the, the price of car insurance. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you have other people coming in that the government is taking care of and having a hard time trying to take care of its own. And as far as getting food stamps, it's hard for people. If you make a certain level, it don't matter how much. They're not going to give it to you. So this is terrible. It is terrible. It's terrible for people. It's the very select on who they want to give their money to. Read it. My question is, you know, as I said, I'm still dealing with the conditions. So the, the conditions of this world, I'm reading all the cards until I get down to a little bit. What does he say? <laughs> okay. Um, I had nothing else to do. I just wanted to just read cards today. I didn't want to channel. I just want to read cards. I need a break from channeling. So go ahead. Got you. Um, bad advice, emotional manipulation, moodiness, and self-compassion. Read the other one. The, no, no, it don't matter. I'm saying what I'm getting out of this read is the condition of the people in America. Mm -hmm. There's a restlessness. There is a, a sense of bubbling, like, like, like at any moment. Mm -hmm. It's like it's about to bust. Yep. This is what I see. It's like a balloon is so filled, and it's just there, just saying, just tap me, just do it, and it'll just explode. It's like that's what I see for America and its citizens. As for the government, the government is going to do what the government is going to do. Yes. Right? But the people in America overall, it is not good for people here. People are struggling. Yes. Because of finances. And by us having a war, it makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. Because it's always bad during war. Yes. How can it not be? Right? All right. Just stress and bloodshed that can keep you up at night thinking about it or stressing out about it. I see a lot of powerful people that keep coming out. So that lets me know that there are a lot of other um, uh, uh, powers involved. So America is dealing with other powers around the world too. Mm -hmm. Clearly it's showing up. So, okay. So since I kept seeing all these kings and queens and all of this, so are we at strife with these people or are one of these people planning to attack us? No question. Are we being, are we going to get in a position? Are you going to read those? Oh, uh, that's it fell on the floor. So what do you think? Sneaky so, little thing. Yeah. So I'm saying, yes. I think that there is something going on. I do think there is deception. I do think that America's headed for something. Okay. And it could be, I'm thinking in my mind, economic crash. Mm -hmm. If something has to give. Yes. It's breaking our backs and something has to give. 
-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, most definitely. Something have to give. Am I right? So just according to the cards, I can tell you what I see uh -huh. clearly. I ran enough. I feel as though in this country, I feel as though that we're headed for some kind of economical, economic mm -hmm. disaster. Or something is coming in this way where we will be affected. Yes. I definitely see it. Whether it's a year from now. I, I, I don't know, but it's definitely on the horizon. It is definitely right here. And because it's all pentacles, it has to be, it's going to affect us financially. Mm -hmm. Remember, you heard it from me and you've heard it from other people, I'm sure. Yeah. I can't be the only, when you get message, it's ridiculous just to give it to one person. That's stupid. If I want to give a message to the world, I'm going to give it, spread it out to other people that are willing to speak it. Yes. I can't be the only one who feels this way. Mm -hmm. I can't be the only one who says, I see America headed for some kind of disaster. I see an economic, a economical, what did I say? A, 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 a economy. I see struggle in our economy. And I see it's headed for a disaster, yes. for ruin, being mm -hmm. about knocked down. I see it. Whether it happened today or tomorrow, I see it. It's showing, it's reeking in the car. It stinks. You can see it. You can smell it. It's right there. That's why I was like, I want to try to say something positive, but I can't. And even now, the wheel of fortune come out. Yeah. Unless we change, and we're not. Because the system hasn't changed. That's true. How can we change when we still have a republic and a democrat? A republic? I think we need a third party. Oh, okay. yeah. But no, nobody goes with the third, third party. party that can stand strong. That can stand strong. And nobody goes with the third party. And the end of all of this, this is what I see. I just see a lot of powers. I see America's working very, very hard to financially. She's working. It's so much damage. It's, it's eroded. It's, 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 it's like a system that needs to be changed and reboot. But then if you think about changing things, you got another party. Don't change nothing. And then you got another party that when you, you it's just no harmony. Mm -hmm. And then you want to know why it's so much crime in this country. Because of our government. Yeah. That's the mother and the father of the of this country. And if they're at war with one another, how do you think the people are going to be? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. It's just over and over. You know what? I don't even understand. What, it's only 16 out of 78 cards. It's only 16 of these court cards and all I keep picking them. So that That's lets true. me know that there is America is tangled up in this thing far bigger and with other countries there's something going on because I see a whole lot of powerful people coming on and the okay. devil was in the midst of it. Yeah, that was always all I don't know. This is what I just picked. Mm -hmm. All major arcanas that I mean more. They all through the whole deck and the devil came out towards the end. It's yes. in the midst of it. America is headed for some kind of disaster. And if it's a disaster here, then the world will feel it. Yes. So there is some kind of global disaster. To what magnitude? I cannot tell you that. But brace yourself. Whether it be next year, the year after that, I don't know. But I assure you, Something is on the horizon. I feel it all up in me. And I'm telling you that the devil is in the detail. Okay. And that devil showed up in the government. And mm -hmm. this is for the people. We're going to go through something. I don't know what. What do you say? Um, yeah, definitely. It makes me think of how, A, we're living in unprecedented times. But also kind of brings me back to the pandemic when the whole world and did I not seen that before I, I I saw it as it was gonna be giving us injections I remember being terrorized but I seen it and now I'm coming to you and I'm telling you with the cost I didn't even go in on it but I will at the last 
but I did not go in because I just wanted to read and I wanted to tell you I even had baby corn read cards because I just wanted to make sure that I'm pretty right what I'm saying. So what I see here is America is headed for something. I don't know. I know it will be financial. It will be financial. Whatever it is, it will be financial. So whoever gets in the chair, I don't think that they're going to rise us up from what we're about to face. Okay. Or it could be some kind of um, natural disaster. I don't know what and what will bring us to it, but we know we're in war. Yes. And it doesn't look like we're getting out of it. Any, it doesn't look like we're getting out of it on Monday. So that's we got that and then we got our own country mm -hmm. and we still got you know uh uh bridges that has collapsed yes and um what that's going to do we still have the people the truck people that's supposed to go on strike that they stop afterwards so we still see that america is facing so miss queen you want to know if what was the question how will america be affected by the war we will be affected financially by it we will be affected it will affect us and the longer we stay the longer we will be there however i do see america dealing with getting ready to deal with something some kind of ruin some kind of tearing down i don't know what it will be I have no idea of what it could be. I don't know. It could be assassination. I don't know. But I see whatever it is, a tower is coming down in America. To what degree and how well does it fall? I don't know. I don't know if it just be the head blown off. I don't know. I don't know if it'll just be a dent where we'll all mourn like we did when they had the first financial rush in America back in the 90s. Or will it be in the in the um, 2000s when we went through COVID? I don't know, but I do know there is something on the rise and my body is crying that out. Mm -hmm. When? I don't know. All I know is I just say, just prepare. Prepare. But if we want America to be great again, the old system must come down. Yes. And it's no way. It's like you got, it's like you got a, a you got septus. You, you I'm that's too drastic. Let's say you got a, 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 a cut. Okay. And it's gotten infected. Mm -hmm. And you just keep putting a band-aid over it. Yeah. It needs to be treated. And in order to treat it now, it's gotten so deep, somebody gotta go in now and bust open the skin go inside, clean out the infection, and then sew it up. And I think that's what America needs. Yes. Will we have that? I don't know. Will there be a great one to rise? I don't know. Will there be an anti-American take the seat? I don't know. But I know America is in trouble financially. We definitely are. And, and America is very at unease and has unrest. America, and this is America, not black America, mm -hmm. not white America, not Asian America, no. not Hispanic America, mm -hmm. not African America, not um, uh, 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 Haitians, and all else. Yes. All. Right? Mm -hmm. We're in this together. We're all Americans. And I'm telling you, sometimes I think that America says, I don't like what I have to pick from. And maybe we should sit out. Okay. We keep picking the same thing. That's my opinion. You may not like it because they got you so brain. Vote. You. But, but what if you are disagreement with it? Yeah. Vote anyway. It's your right. Oh, girl. Boy. Yeah. And, you know, right and Beyonce, Taylor Swift, vote. I'm a, please keep. I don't want to know who you're voting for. No, not at all. I don't want to know. I don't want Barack Obama to come out lecturing me. Well, you know, come on, people, vote for us. If you're going to do yeah. anything, come out and say vote. Yeah. Not for me, but for who you believe in. They just need to change the strategies. Yeah, they really do. You know, and maybe one of the things that we will like about America is that voting becomes private again. Okay. I would like to see that. I don't want to see no famous people voting. That needs to stop.
what do you think? Mm -hmm. If it's politics, Beyonce ain't in politics. Taylor Swift ain't in no politics no more than sitting at the table talking with her family. Yep, that's true. She don't, they don't do nothing for politics. I don't, they not on no ballot. Mm -mm. So why should their vote? Because their vote matters because this is such a war. But I think it should be voting should be private and it should go back to we don't, y'all fight amongst yourselves and everybody, we vote privately. That's what I want. Private voting. I don't want to know who you're voting for. Every yes. time somebody get up and get, I don't like it. It's supposed to be personal. You're talking about we have the right to vote. No. The moment that people coming out and saying that's pressure. Mm -hmm. The right is I have a right to vote with my own mind and not feel pressure. What do you think? Yeah. And then the last card is, and then I'll read the outcome. Another one. The swords. I'm telling you. America feels tied. It feels caught in between because it put itself in between because of the ties it has with Israel. Whether they are good or bad, I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. But whether they're good or bad, America has put itself in the middle and America really don't want to be there. But America chose to side. And so now America feeling bound, obligated, and twixt in between with her country and another one. Mm -hmm. what you think of that yes most definitely the government has a lot to focus on figure out plan out sort out and this is not what are these doing oh okay <laughs> I was like I the blank card well I didn't pull it because that would have been scary so let's see America what is going on what is the outcome of America Right, a blank card definitely would have been scary. scary. That would have been, I don't know. Warm. Okay. It was a lot of pages. It's like feeling happy, good news, things going well, staying steady, keep balance. So when I take with that, it's warm. That's not good. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. And it's like about balance. Mm -hmm. So like temperance. Yeah, temperance might came up very early. Mm -hmm. So it lets me know we're warm right now. Everything looks good right now. Everything looks like everything is going to be okay right now, right? Everything looks like everything is copacetic. That's what it looks. Everything is warm. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's warm and it's like it's right now. And when you have pages, they're kids. Anything can set off a kid. So right now we're balanced. We're just maintaining the atmosphere. That's what I see. And last, what I see, I see here balancing. And you sing I shuffled, and now I got another card. And the next card says, You want to read it? That way I put my glasses. I don't know what okay. it says, so oh, just sorry. read it for me. Mm -hmm. A mountain. <laughs> yes. Okay. So first of all, we have warm. Do you could you do both of them together? Like right now, America's like this. Mm -hmm. Trying to stay balanced. With all the all the chaos, she's here. Just trying to like a little kid, just just trying to hold steady. Copacetic-ness. And then um, blocked obstacles, challenges, higher knowledge, reaching the top, resistance. Reaching the top, the mm -hmm. tower. Yeah, reaching the top. So that lets me know we're headed for some, 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 some troubled time. Something is going to happen because a mountain can be a positive. Yeah, as, as if you're looking at it, but we got to look in the sense of what we're talking about. So no, this is not positive in that sense. No, we are the top. So I have to look at that card in another way. Blocked. Okay. Obstacles. Something is going to get in the way. Resistance. And isn't that what's going on in this country? Yes. Resistance. 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 Obstacles. Challenges. 
This is what I leave you with. But right now, we're warm. Mm -hmm. But things are going to get a little heated up. I I don't know what to think about this election. Election. Um, someone told me that they feel as though that uh, that's whoever get it, they might try to take a life. I hope that we don't stoop to that. I hope we don't speak to to small minds, because okay. that don't change anything. It just puts us in more trouble. I hope whoever gets the chair, they want it fair and square. Yes. I. It doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Because it. I have watched this thing, and I never gotten what I what I felt like we wanted or we needed. So. But for whoever you are, they say vote. If that's where your heart is, vote. Yes. Do what's right for you. I have no judgment on that. But I tell you this in my conclusion of my reading, this is a time where America is warm. She's going through her flux. She's warm, but there is something coming on the horizon. Yes. Something that is going to be an obstacle for the United States of America. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. That's my read. Sunflowers!